Downtown South Bend has changed quite a lot over the past few years, adding infrastructure, renovating the streets and parks, and becoming the birthplace of many different businesses. Now more than ever, there are more restaurants and bars that fill the storefronts of downtown, so there are many options available when looking for a place to grab a bite to eat or have a drink. Though, there are some harder to find unique local shops that you need to visit when heading downtown. First, to stop by the Griffin, a 45-year-old establishment owned by Ken Pechkowski and his wife purchased the building back in 1976. With a bookstore in their basement and a game room on the second floor, their main revenue comes from their range of unique games. White family strategy games, ones which um, take about 60 to 90 minutes to play, uh, have everything you need in a box, you just open the box and play the game. Just traditional card games, I mean we sell uh, several games, uh, a uh, wizard comes to mind, Flux, I would say easily a dozen different types of card games that we have. There's people who do role-playing games, such as Dungeons and Dragons, and that is the best seller in that category. There's lots of games that do that sort of thing, but Dungeons and Dragons is by far a best seller in, in that one. Striving to find uncommon games from all over the world is one of the Griffin's goals, creating an atmosphere that keeps people coming back. Even after they move away, they never forget. They write to us and say that there's, they have not encountered a place like, like this in any other town they've ever lived in, and they miss it. And although the downtown atmosphere has changed a lot, there's maybe two retail operations left. Almost everything else is either a place to eat or a place to drink uh, or a place to pay a bill. They think that downtown South Bend will continue to be a benefit to the Griffin. I like the, the uniqueness. I mean, we're a destination. Heading over to the east bank of the downtown area. Purple Porch Co-op, the sole food market and grocer in downtown. Although it's not a retail business, it definitely does stand out from the many restaurants and cafes. Beginning in 2009 as a weekly farmer's market, Purple Porch has evolved into a storefront with grocery items and a cafe inside. We're different than a normal store because we're a member-owned cooperative, so we have over 1,200 member owners and we try to support local business as much as we can, so we have local farmers and producers and suppliers that we carry their items inside. The farmer's market, which was the original idea for the co-op, allows for the public to understand where their food is coming from and know how it was grown and cared for. We've continued the weekly farmer's market, so that happens every Wednesday, and it goes all year round, and uh, vendors can come and set up a booth, and they get to talk to their customers and teach them about the products that they have and just interact with them that way, and then they can also come into the store and buy things from us in there. Although the market brings in a good amount of business, the breakfast burritos for sure, are the most popular items from the kitchen. Along with the adored burritos, the cafe is host to packaged salads, grab-and-go items, and baked goods. With the combination of a grocery, cafe, and market, Purple Porch Co-op is able to reach out to the South Bend community and create a healthier, more sustainable environment. I think that it adds a lot. It adds a lot of um, color and a lot of excitement and a lot of people um, into the downtown area. We've had a lot of events in terms of like food education, social justice, environmental awareness, things like that. I feel like we can do um, a lot to educate people on what it means to eat locally and why that's important. downtown on Michigan Street, the Idle Hours Bookstore, owned by Josie Doyle and her husband Pat Doyle. This year, they're celebrating 20 years of business. As a used and rare bookstore, they try to make reading accessible to everyone. We believe in education and providing books for people who may not be able to afford brand new books, so there's something for everyone here. Idle Hours tries to cater to the interests of the people of South Bend 
providing a grand collection of books and genres, stacked high as they possibly can. I think downtown needs um, culture and community, and we hope to provide that by you know, having access to books, education. I think every great city has a good bookstore, so that's why we're here. The Idle Hours Bookstore is truly a special place to find and explore their towering bookcases. Most people nowadays don't find a lot of used bookstores anymore, so whenever somebody comes in, they just smell. <laughs> Anyone could see that even from these three shops, South Bend is full of people trying to make downtown a more positive experience and full of opportunities to discover a passion for food, reading, game playing, and much more. This is a place where the small local shops make the greatest difference to the culture, expression, and atmosphere of our growing downtown community.